question to you. How do you think Rome would it look like? Well, looking at the movies, we imagine something clean, uh, white columned, uh, all the people clean and dressed in togas, uh, with somebody with a face of Marlon Brando, enunciating friends, uh, Romans, uh, countrymen. Mm. Now, Rome uh, was not really like that. Uh, let's say that it was a colorful, sweaty, noisy, dirty, packed, uh, so more like Calcutta or Mexico during a big feast than what we, we think. So we will see that certainly the idea of the white is an idea developed in the 1700s. So the statues, their garment, their dresses were all very colorful, except for the official garment. The togas should be white, but for the rest, they lost colors. And certainly, how polluted was the city back then? So uh, you could smell Rome from far away. Our noses would be very unhappy reaching out for Rome. Why? First of all, the smoke. Smoke was terrible. How could it be possible? Imagine chimneys of the Beats burning tons and tons of wood to heat the pools. And then barbecue at every corner of the street producing sausages and sausages and street food. And then you had the altar for the sacrifices, more meat per food to burn. And Next to the smoke, you had the, the nice smell of urine collected in the street corners uh, to be used by the fullers to dye the fabrics. So um, something that would be very strong for our stomach indeed, especially leaving the city, most of the main roads were often uh, lined with crosses uh, where the decaying corpses of uh, condemned criminals were exposed as a memento, so as a, a, um, an example of what happens to those who not respect the law. And regarding the talk today, well, uh, certainly most of the sources uh, of the different topics uh, regards uh, uh, the middle, high middle class. But uh, today, uh, research uh, bring a little light, uh, let's say the light of an oil lamp, uh, into the commoners, into the poorer people. Only three years ago, in uh, the road, connect, along the road connecting Rome with the ancient port, Ostia Antica, archaeologists discovered a very large cemetery for the very poor people, the workers in the docks families and the average uh, um, life, uh, the, the average lifespan was about 40 years old, even less. And with moving, they, uh, they discovered a skeleton of a young man around 25 years old, who was born with a disease that would have condemned him to the death. His jaws were jointed, so he could not eat. So the face revealed that they broke the four teeth in front to permit to a straw to pass through so he could be fed and survived this disability for 25 years. So a sort of a compassion re-emerged from a society that was in general pretty cruel, not respectful of human life, if you think that slaves in Roman law were called instrumenta vocales, which means talking tools.